Murad Avi was the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire from 1623 to 1640, known both for restoring the authority of the state and for the brutality of his methods. Murad Avi was born in Constantinople, the son of Sultan Ahmed I and the ethnic Greek Valadikosum Sultan. Brought to power by a palace conspiracy in 1623, he succeeded his uncle Mustafa I. He was only 11 when he took the throne. His reign is most notable for the Ottoman Safavid War, of which the outcome would permanently part the Caucasus between the two imperial powers for around two centuries. While it also roughly laid the foundation for the current Turkey, Iran, Iraq borders. Biography In the early years of Murad's reign, he was under the control of his relatives. During this period, peace and harmony in the Ottoman lands were completely lost, and tyrants took control of the cities. His absolute rule started around 1632, when he took the authority and repressed all the tyrants, and he re-established the supremacy of Sultan. Early reign Murad IV was for a long time under the control of his relatives and during his early years as Sultan, his mother, Qasim Sultan, essentially ruled through him. The empire fell into anarchy, the Safavid Empire invaded Iraq almost immediately, northern Anatolia erupted in revolts, and in 1631 the Janissaries stormed the palace and killed the Grand Vizier, among others. Murad Avi feared suffering the fate of his elder brother, Osman II, and decided to assert his power. At the age of 16 in 1628, he had his brother-in-law and the former governor of Egypt Kara Mustafa Pasha executed for acclaimed action against the law of God. Absolute rule and imperial policies Murad Avi tried to quell the corruption that had grown during the reigns of previous sultans and that had not been checked while his mother was ruling through proxy. Murad Avi also banned alcohol, tobacco, and coffee in Constantinople. He ordered execution for breaking this ban. He would reportedly patrol the streets and taverns of Constantinople in civilian clothes at night, policing the enforcement of his command by summarily killing civilians for breaking this decree. He restored the judicial regulations by very strict punishments, including execution. Historians including Halil and al Sikh, as well as primary sources report that even though he was a ruthless supporter of alcohol prohibition, Murad Avi was a habitual drinker himself. In a poem by the Sultan under a nom de plume, he says, even if the rivers became wine, they wouldn't fill my glass. In another poem he says, the wine is such a devil that I have to protect my people from it by drinking all of it. War against Safavid Iran Murad Avi's reign is most notable for the Ottoman Safavid War against Persia in which Ottoman forces managed to conquer Azerbaijan, occupying Tabriz, Hamadan, and capturing Baghdad in 1638. Murad Avi himself commanded the invasion of Mesopotamia and proved to be an outstanding field commander. By the Treaty of Zuhab which followed after the war, it roughly comprised and confirmed the borders as per the Peace of Amasya, with eastern Armenia, eastern Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Dagestan staying Persian, while western Armenia, and western Georgia staying Ottoman. Mesopotamia was irrevocably lost for the Persians. The borders per the outcome of the war is more or less the present border line between Turkey, Iraq and Iran. During the siege of Baghdad, the city withstood the siege for 40 days, but was compelled to surrender, and the bulk of the population were butchered by the conquerors, in spite of the promises which they had made to spare them. It is said that the officers of Murad arranged a sort of tableau, in which the heads were struck off 1,000 captives by 1,000 headsmen at the same moment, and that Murad Avi enjoyed the sight. The Sultan had a famous quote about the fall of Baghdad. Murad Avi himself commanded the Ottoman army in the last years of the war, and proved to be an outstanding field commander. He was the second Ottoman Sultan to command an army on the battlefield since death of Suleiman the Magnificent in 1566.
During his campaign to Persia, he annihilated all rebels in Anatolia and restored order in the empire. After his return to Constantinople, he ordered respected statesmen of the empire to prepare a new economic and political project to return the empire to the old successful days. Physical power. Murad of e was the last warrior sultan who led campaigns in front of his army and fought on the battlefield. His physical strength was phenomenal, which is described in detail on the books of Evliya Chelebi. He was especially known for his exceptional strength in wrestling, capable of fighting several opponents at the same time. His favorite weapon was a huge mace, which, according to legend, he wielded effortlessly with a single hand despite it reportedly weighed 60 kilograms. Among his other favorite weapons are a long bow and a large two-handed broadsword apparently weighing more than 50 kilograms. Despite the fact that even the largest known swords rarely weigh more than 10 pounds, and ceremonial parade swords weighing more than 15 pounds are exceedingly rare. His weapons are today displayed at the top Karpi Palace Museum in Farti, intact and well-preserved. Architecture. Sultan Murad IV put emphasis on architecture and in his period many monuments were erected. Some of them are made in a mosque, Bayram Pasha Dervish Lodge, tomb, fountain, primary school, Konya Serafedan Mosque. The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan had exchanged ambassadors with the Ottoman Sultan Murad IV. It was through these exchanges that he received Iso Muhammad Effendi and Ismail Effendi. Two Turkish architects and students of the famous Kokamai Masanaraga, both of them later comprised among the Mughal team that would design and build the Taj Mahal. Relations with the Mughal Empire In the year 1626, the Mughal Emperor Jahangir began to contemplate an alliance between the Ottomans, Mughals and Uzbeks against the Safavids who had defeated the Mughals at Kandahar. He even wrote a letter to the Ottoman Sultan Murad IV. Jahangir's ambition however did not materialize due to his death in 1627. However, Jahangir's son and successor Shah Jahan pursued the goal of alliance with the Ottoman Empire. While he was encamped in Baghdad, Murad IV is known to have met the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan's ambassadors. Mir Zaraf and Mir Barakab, who presented 1,000 pieces of finely embroidered cloth and even armor. Murad Ove gave them the finest weapons, saddles and kaftans and ordered his forces to accompany the Mughals to the port of Basra, where they set sail to Thatta and finally Surat. Marriages and Progeny Consort Saisha Sultan, daughter of Hassan Bey Jonamas, an Albanian nobleman. Samspari Hachan, daughter of Osman Bey Progan, an Albanian nobleman. Huri Chero Hachan, lady from the Georgian, princely family, Mishut Adze. Sanabar Hachan, daughter of Abdullah Bey, a Bosnian nobleman. Sem Sisa Hachan, Eni Akuti Zilakan Dadiani, daughter of Levanti II Dadiani, Duke of Mingrelia and Nestan Dejan Dechaladze, a Georgian. Marzabar Hachan, Eni Akuti Aisha Soganukov, daughter of Prince Alegyuko Soganukov, ruler of Kabardia from 1624 to 1654, a Circassian. Children Sezade Ahmed, with Samspuri, Sezade Newman, with Samspuri, Sezade Orhan, with Huri Chera, Sezade Hassan, March 1631-1632, with Aisha, Sezade Suleiman, with Sanabba, Sezade Mehmed, with Samspuri, Sezade Osman, with Aisha. Sezaid Alareddin, with Sanabba, Sezaid Selim, with Sanabba, Sezaid Abdul Hamid, with Aisha, Sezaid Mahmud, with Marzabar, Ismahan Sultan, with Huri Chera, Gevran Sultan, with Semspri, married 1645, Damit Haseki Mehmed Pasha, sometime 5th Vizier, Hanzada Sultan, with Aisha, married August 1645, Damit Nakas Hassan Pasha, Vizier of Egypt 1640 to 1642. Kaila Sultan with Sanabar married August 1644. Damit Abazar Melik Ahmed Pasha Vizier 1638 and 1650 to 1651.
Hafsa Sultan with Samsissa, Safiya Sultan with Hurichera, married 1659, Damit Abazar Husam Pasha, Vizier 1674 to 1675, son of Abazar Sayavas Pasha, Fatma Sultan with Samsissa, Rabia Sultan with Hurichera, Rukia Sultan with Sanaba, married January 1663, Sitan Divrikli Ibrahim Pasha, Vizier Death. Murad Av died from cirrhosis in Istanbul at the age of 27 in 1640. Rumors had circulated that on his deathbed, Murad Av ordered the execution of his mentally disabled brother, Ibrahim I, which would have meant the end of the Ottoman line. However, the order was not carried out.